What's going on everybody? Charlie here. I am exhausted. I am jet lagged. Um, and I'm pretty much ready for bed. But I've been waiting all day. I wanted to do this with all of you, although probably by now most of you have seen this. I arrived in New York at 3.30 last night. So like I said, quite a bit tired. But I did hold on to these all day waiting to share them with you. Monday is my 34th birthday. 33rd was a good year. So a couple of really big uh, gifts that came through. I've got Pro Wrestling Crate, obviously, which I'm going to share with you. But before we dive into Pro Wrestling Crate, just going to share some of the contents of the other packages. So this first package right here is from Pro Wrestling Tees, and they have been doing a mystery grab bag item. So I wanted to try one. I think it was like 12 bucks or something like that just to see one of these overprints that they had just to let you guys know the overprints don't necessarily mean that it's an item at hot topic as i assume now, i have most of the items at hot topic that being said i was actually pleasantly surprised i did take a peek inside of this so i'm going to show you what came so first there is the item that i specifically ordered that i knew what i was ordering on their fourth of july sale which finally i can say 150 percent that I am all in and I will be watching wherever they stream it but the t-shirt has arrived super excited to have this um, it'll probably wind up on my t-shirt of the day very very soon moving on to the next one and this was kind of the pleasant surprise like I said I was assuming one of the ones that I've seen a million times at Hot Topic when I've walked in there but it actually wasn't and here is what it is it is a New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Style Evolved t-shirt. It has the Strong Style Evolved logo on the front. On the back, it's got the date of the event, the venue. I I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd have prints from New Japan that uh, they would be sharing with this as well. So if they're still doing that grab bag, highly suggest you participate. Although by now it's probably taken down. Moving on to the last piece of this package. Anybody who ordered on July 2nd got a complimentary autograph. I've been ordering Pro Wrestling Crates for six months. I was kind of hoping that they would see that I'm a subscriber to Pro Wrestling Crate. Look when I started and see if they have any of those other ones. Wasn't that lucky, but that might mean that someone else on this channel is going to be lucky. So the mystery autograph is one that I already have in my collection. It is Vicky Guerrero. So I'm not sure how much I wanted it the first time. No, I'm just kidding. I like you a lot, Vicky. Um, but I will be kind of doing some sort of contest online for you guys to win this Vicky Guerrero autograph. So you know I also have a Cody Rhodes extra. Yes, I have like four of them, and two of them are from Pro Wrestling Great. I have a Cody Rhodes extra in my closet, as well as a JR extra, which I will also be doing a contest to win off. So keep an eye out for that over the next couple weeks. So, moving on to the next package, which I have not opened up yet, but I know what's inside of it. I did an order from WWE. So, WWE was doing like $13 t-shirts or something like that. And so, basically, I just told my wife, don't order me anything. I'm just going to order what I want myself. So, here is the first item that I ordered from WWE during this $13 tea sale. It is the whole shebang himself, Johnny Gargano. I am such a huge fan of his. Most of the shirts that I've owned from Johnny Gargano um, actually came from Pro Wrestling Tees. So excited to get my hands on the NXT one. Um, and like I said, really excited for him to take the, ch uh, the title off the new champion, Tommaso Ciampa. And lastly, and this is one that kind of hits near and dear to home, Always have to support him. Um, let's just say he is involved in my nine to five, my 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 you know my job, my nine to six, nine to seven, whatever the world becomes at this point. But I am repping it for my man, Daniel Bryan. So the yes is back. I they quit. He quickly wore this shirt right before he um, did Team Hell No. Um, so I was super excited to see that one. Yes, obviously the SmackDown Live colors. 
It um, hopefully will make a comeback now that this Team Hell No experiment was over, which brilliant job WWE on putting together a tag team for two weeks and yet releasing three shirts on that team in that two-week period. I will not be purchasing any of them, but still rocking it for my boy D-Bry, FYI talent. You know, it's how we do it. All right, so now here we are. So we're looking at the pro wrestling crate for the month of July. Now, as you know, I subscribe to Pro Wrestling Crate. I'm on the sixth month, so I'm going to keep this one going. I'm going to be altering my crate delivery coming up over the next couple weeks. And I want to try to move quickly through this clay crate because I'm about to go watch Flip Gordon win the NWA title so that he can move on to face Cody at all. In. So let's see what's in the Pro Wrestling Crate for the month of July. Starting off, we've got... More t-shirts, which means I've got no drill space, but just to show you, I'm not going to show the back of the card or look at the spoilers, but the theme of this one is Heels Part 2. Um, not that Heels and Faces really should exist much anymore, I mean, we've got a villain that's pretty much one of the coolest guys out there, but at the same time, always been a big fan of the professional wrestling villain, so let's see what we got. So the first one is a t-shirt, this is the one that they announced, I can start to see the design already. But we've got the villain. There's the villain I was talking about. We've got the villain, Marty Scrull. It's a really cool design, really, really cool T shape. Pro, pro wrestling tees out of all of the crates, and I love them all, and each of them brings something different to the table. But you cannot beat the pro wrestling tee, uh, crate T shirt. Obviously, it's owned by pro wrestling tees. They got the access to the most talent. If there's one crate for me that's the absolute must have, this is it. So moving on to the next one. Oh yeah. And I, I don't know if I purposely meant to do that in the Macho Man voice, but just looking at the front of this, we've got Macho Man Randy Savage. Fear the Madness. So this is actually a really cool shirt. I've noticed that 95% of my wrestling t-shirts are black. As you can see repping it for Seth Rollins right now. So I've got literally three drawers filled of t-shirts, and I would say like 95% of them are black. So um, good to get another variety of color mixed in. I like that PWT typically does one in black. Uh, PWC typically does one in black and one in a different color to keep things a little bit mixed up for you in terms of your t-shirt wardrobe. So we've now seen the t-shirts, which are one of the best parts of the crate. Um, let's move on to the next piece. So here is your micro brawler of the month. And they're actually releasing, and I have not ordered it and I'm not going to yet, um, I want to do it individualized. They're actually releasing an entirely new set of micro brawlers because of how successful they've been in the crate. That being said, and to add to my collection from my crates, we have Tetsuya Naito. You got L-I-J, right? He's keeping his eye open on you. This is actually a pretty cool micro brawler. Uh, a lot of people had thought that New Japan micro brawlers weren't able to be created, that it was mostly the Ring of Honor guys that were coming out. That being said, I'm super excited that it is Naito because I am an LIJ fan. I do like Naito. I like Evil. I like Sonata. Um, and of course, uh, big fan of Hiromo who broke his neck. I hope he gets well soon. So there's that. Moving on to the next item. So the next item here is the pin of the month, which is really a sweet design. So they advertised that Rowdy Roddy Piper was part of this crate. Um, I'm super excited for the fact that it is the crest for Piper's Pit. This is going to look fantastic in the collage. It's going to go right in my Legends section. I was wondering how they were going to work Piper in since recently they've done a t-shirt with him. Obviously, you can't do an autograph with him. There was no micro brawler yet. Maybe that's next up, but this is a really cool, really cool pen. All right. We've got a little baggie here. Um, okay. Check out this baggie. I can see what it is, obviously, but I'm not exactly sure. It is the last real man's pocket knife from Silas Young. So if you are not a Ring of Honor fan, you do not know who Silas Young is. I'm hoping you're a Ring of Honor fan if you're watching this. Silas Young is basically, if you're a WWE fan, he's like the single man's version of the Revival. He's an old school throwback. He's got the slick 80s Magnum TA type of mustache so the gift and w uh pro wrestling crate always does one of these the random gift that you get for the last real man 
is a little pocket knife. Um, you know, you've got the you've got the nail file, you've got the scissors. I'm going to wind up poking myself with this thing, and then of course you've got the knife itself. So, pretty interesting thing to see come out of a pro wrestling crate. Very very creative by the team, um, and you never know. Maybe I will use this at some point for something. Moving on. All right, so the High Spots Network, Behind Closed Doors, and High Spots is awesome themselves, by the way. Um, you'll see their DVDs a lot in Pro Wrestling Crate, and if you actually go over to highspots.com, they always have fantastic deals, not just on DVDs, but they also have um, a really large collection of autographs, and the autographs aren't as expensive as you think. Like Some of the ones you see back here, like Ricochet and Naito, I got for like nine bucks each, so... Um, I would highly suggest you go over there. They have a lot of old TNA t-shirts for like five bucks, you know, and then they always have like these weird packs where they're just mismatching stuff that you could, they put together. It's like 20 bucks. You get like this big assorted bag of stuff. So just check it out. Highly suggest going over to high spots that, and they also do their own crate. Um, that being said, this high spot documentary is the behind closed doors story of Jake, the snake Roberts. So Oh, by the way, that's Silas Young's mustache right there, in case you're curious. Jake, obviously, has dealt with his inner demons. Um, he's doing all the syndicate tours, everything like that. But I'll definitely check this out at some point when I have time. First, we're going to watch Slip Gordon win the NWA Championship. But this is definitely in there. Moving on. Now, I really like this guy. Um, I'm a big fan of Dean Ambrose. I know a lot of people feel he's lazy or, you know, whatever the case may be, he blew his title shot, whatever the case may be. If you go and watch John Moxley, John Moxley is an absolute lunatic. And that's who Dean Ambrose is supposed to be. Unfortunately, WWE waters everything down and they've literally killed who Ambrose was supposed to be. But if you want to see who Ambrose was supposed to be, go back and watch the promo that Dean Ambrose cut on Seth Rollins. After Ambrose turned on, he's like, I'm going to take your nose and put it where your ear is supposed to be. And he was nuts. And that's the lunatic. That's the lunatic fringe part. So his partner, his tag team partner, now has OVE with him, Ohio, right? Ohio versus everything. And they've included what looks like a 1980s like, Topps baseball card. There's OVE, Ohio versus everything. And it is Sammy Callahan, the draw himself. Um, Sammy's been awesome in TNA. Him and the Chris brothers have really really been a big thing for that show's revival um him and tessa blanchard of course you guys know if you follow me that i'm a huge tessa blanchard fan so um, this is pretty cool i'll put it in the collage um and i'm a big fan of sammy callahan i expect big things from him at tna and all that is left in the box is the pro wrestling crate up then there it goes is the pro wrestling crate autograph of the month so let's see who the autograph for pro wrestling crate. Why does mine feel heavy? Do I have two in here? No, it's just a really thick picture. Okay, so the pro wrestling autograph of the month, speaking of the draw, is Sammy Callahan. Now that is a really awesome picture. By the way, by the end of this weekend, I fully anticipate him not to have his hair anymore because Penta is not losing his mask. So that's it for pro wrestling crate. That's it for my surprise packages. That's it for everything I've got to open, except I'm really waiting on those Cody Rhodes sneakers to come. Four weeks is a long time to wait when you own printing machines. I'm just saying, you know, you guys are great business. Step up shipping a little. Um, so, all in all, in the crate, you've got the Sammy Callahan autograph and baseball card. You've got the Jake the Snake Roberts behind closed doors DVD. You got the real man's man's pocket knife and other stuff. You got the Piper's Pit pin. You have got the Tetsuya Naito micro brawler. You've got the Macho Man Randy Savage Fear the Madness T-shirt. You've got the Villain Marty Scroll T-shirt, and they call it a crate. So. Have fun, guys. Enjoy. You've got a good weekend worth of wrestling in terms of Slammiversary. Um, you also have, obviously, the ROH event in Nashville tonight for you Honor Club subscribers. I've been away, so I've got a lot of catching up to do between Slammiversary, the stuff on Honor Club. I caught Raw and SmackDown. I did not watch NXT yet, so that's coming up. Um, and I also have to watch what's what I missed from the G1. So 
after I sleep for about 14 hours, I'm going to probably take care of my kids and then watch wrestling. So we'll see what we can get through. Until then, I'm signing off. Keep an eye out for the T-shirt of the day. Keep an eye out for the next video, which is going to be Flip Gordon. Um, keep an eye out for any random conversations I'm having. I appreciate you guys watching this. I'm asking you to click subscribe on the bottom so that you know when the next video is coming. And I am looking forward to talking to you soon. And by the way, always open to have a conversation on here. I want to build out a platform where we can all have a conversation as the IWC. So if you ever want to talk, you ever want to chat, join me. Let me know. You can join me. You can join Dave. Dave's very interested in continuing to come onto the channel. i got a couple of other friends. So let me know if you want to chat. Looking forward to talking soon, guys. You have yourself a fantastic weekend.